Hi, this is Mr. Mark, and today I'm going to make some healthy granola. And this is granola we eat at home. It's got simple ingredients. Um, I do need to cook it, so I've already set the oven, which is behind the camera, to 300 degrees. Um, it's a fairly short recipe to make, and uh, we'll put it together and put it in the oven. It takes a while to bake, 40 minutes, uh, and we're going to turn that granola every 10 minutes once we start. All right, so here's the ingredients. So first of all, we have oats, rolled oats, which I've gotten from the co-op, and then I have some uh, nuts, some almonds, and some sunflower seeds, olive oil, maple syrup for sweetener, yum, vanilla, because it's gonna have a little bit of a vanilla taste, and then our spices are cinnamon, ground cinnamon, and salt. And you can see that I've laid out my measuring devices in front of each ingredient. It helps me to stay a little more organized when I cook. Um, also, I have a couple of different bowls here. You'll see I have this bowl. This is for my spices and my wet ingredients. I'm going to add that to my dry ingredient bowl, the large bowl, which is for the oats and the nuts. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna spread it all out on this pan with parchment paper, and that's what's gonna bake in the oven. All right, so to get started, I'm gonna start with my oats, the dry ingredients. So I'm gonna put three cups three cups, this is a cup measure, of oats in my bowl. One. Two. Three. And now at this point, I'm done with my cup measure. I'm gonna put that aside and I'm done with my oats. I'm gonna put those aside. And next I have the nuts I'm gonna add, which are my almonds and my sunflower seeds. Some people would add different nuts. Uh, cashews would be nice. Uh, millet is another good grain to put in there, or oat bran is another good grain to put in. So I've already cut up my sliced almonds a little bit. And this is going to be a half cup measure, so a half a cup of almonds. Almonds are done. And now I need some sunflower seeds. Half a cup of sunflower seeds. Half a cup, in it goes. Now I'm done with my sunflower seeds and I'm done with my half cup measurements. I'm gonna put those aside. And now it's on to my wet ingredients. So to start with, I have a half a cup of olive oil. Now it seems like a funny thing to put oil into my cereal, but olive oil is gonna make it cook, and give it some flavor, and olive oil is a really healthy oil, and it'll also help to fill me up. The nuts will fill me up, for sure, and they're healthy and then the olive oil will help fill me up. So now I'm done my third of cup measurement and I'm done with my olive oil. Over it goes. Now onto maple syrup, which of course we love. This is a new container, so I've got to take the top off. Now, the, the original recipe called for a half a cup of maple syrup, but I'm just gonna put in a quarter cup. And the reason why I'm doing that is because it's healthy to eat a little less sugar. And I've been experimenting with this recipe, and with a fourth of a cup of maple syrup, then the serving, the amount of sugar per serving goes down to four grams, which is the healthy amount for your heart. So I'm choosing to do, to do that measurement. Done with a quarter cup measurement and my 
maple syrup. I'm getting less and less things to deal with here. And now I'm down to my vanilla. Be careful with the vanilla, very expensive. And it's uh, easy to spill. This is a new container, so I'm gonna open it up. Gonna need a sharp knife. Be right back. If you open the vanilla and it's a new container, make sure you get some help with that. So this one I'm gonna be very careful with, and I've got a teaspoon measure. I'm gonna do a little bit less than a teaspoon. It calls for, this recipe calls for half a teaspoon, but uh, we all like the taste of vanilla in this house, so I'm gonna put a little extra vanilla in. Oop, so there that's done. In the vanilla goes, and I'm done with this measuring tool. Now I'm down to the salt and the cinnamon. So it's just a, it's just a half a teaspoon of salt and cinnamon. So mix the salt in, the way the salt goes, and then the cinnamon. I'm gonna take that top right off. Nice half a teaspoon of cinnamon. It's already starting to smell good. And then I'm going to mix up the wet ingredients. You can hear that beeping sound. That beeping sound is the sound that my um, oven is now ready to accept the granola, but I'm not quite ready. So I'm mixing up the wet stuff. I'm mixing up the wet stuff, and I'm gonna pour that into the nuts. Yum. I'm done with this bowl, so I put this aside. You can see I put things aside, so I'm just down to my granola in the bowl, and I'm down to my pan, I'm gonna bake it in. So, I'm gonna mix this up really well. Mix that oil around, and that vanilla around, the cinnamon and the salt. These are, lots of these things are, you know, things you can totally do yourself. It might be good to have a grown up there to help you get set up, but you can stir. I'm sure many of you can measure. And you wanna definitely have some help when you're using the oven. And I'm gonna show you some other steps you're gonna want some help with from a grown up as well. So this is looking pretty good. You can see there, look at the color of that because that color is gonna change as we cook it. So now I'm just gonna take this granola and I'm gonna pour it into my pan. Put that bowl aside, look, I'm down to one pan. I like this. I'm gonna spread that out evenly all over the pan. You notice my pan, it has the parchment paper and the parchment paper helps the, the granola not to burn onto the pan and it helps it to cook better. And then notice this pan has high sides, which is important because later I need to, I need to turn this granola in the pan and I'm gonna use a spatula for that, not the spoon probably. And I'm, it's good to have a high side so I don't move the granola off the edges. All right, now I'm gonna put this in the oven and this is something you're gonna to wanna to help with. So now I've gotta put this in the oven and this pan at this point is not hot, right? Because I've had it on the countertop. So I can put this in without using an oven mitt. But I don't want you to do this. I want you to get your parents to help you with this. So I've set this at 300 degrees. 
going to apply this in. And I'm going to come to my timer here, and I need to cook this for 10 minutes. So that's going to cook for 10 minutes, and then the beeper's going to go off. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to turn that granola over and do it another 10 minutes, and I'm going to repeat that. So it's going to, I'm going to have to turn that granola three times. So while I'm waiting for this to cook, I've decided I'm going to take a hike inside my house, and we, I made a video about that, and I'm going to measure how far I can get in 10 minutes. So I will be back, and we will flip this over, and I'll tell you how far I've gone. There's my beeper that's gone up. So I'm gonna turn off my timer. Of course, now, all that's very hot, right? So I'm gonna get my hot mitts out. So you're gonna want a, an adult to help you with this. Only they, only your parent or an adult can tell you whether or not you can go in this oven when it's hot. So I'm gonna take this out. Set it on there, on top of the oven. Close that up so I keep the heat in. Find my spatula, this is spatula. And I'm gonna turn that over. So I'm just gonna push it. I'm gonna push it with my spatula. Just kind of turn it. Mix it up a little bit, spread it back out again. If you remember the color before, it's, it's about the same color as it was before. It gets, it gets darker after about 30 minutes. And the house is already starting to smell a little bit like um, apple pie or uh, the topping you put on an apple crumble, apple crisp. Because this, has, this does have cinnamon and sugar and vanilla. And it, it tastes very good. It tastes a little bit like a, um, a cookie when you're done. All right, so, so far um, in my laps during the 10 minutes, I did four laps inside my house, and that was 400 and no, 225 steps. So I'm going to calculate how far that was, and I'm going to keep going and see how many, how much distance I can get walked in the 40 minutes I have to walk while I'm cooking my granola. Of course, I'm going to reset my 10 minutes so I know to come back and flip it over. So the timer's about to go off for the second 10 minutes. I want you to notice that I, also I didn't talk about this in the beginning, but I'm wearing a hat so I don't get any hair in the food and I'm wearing my apron so that I don't get stuff on my clothes, which I think is a good idea. I'm going to retie my apron, just get them untied. There's the second beeper. Turn that off, get out my hot mitts, and get my help of a parent, an adult. Bring on my granola. Ooh, smells really good. You can see it's a little darker, but not quite as dark as it's gonna get. So again, I'm gonna flip this over. all the spices, even more in, and the oil, and maple syrup, salt, vanilla. Mm -mm -mm. minutes. 
So, so far during, so I've cooked it halfway, right? It cooks for a total of 40 minutes. So I've had two 10 minute segments. During those 10 minutes, I've been walking in my trail inside my house and I've gone around, uh, so each 10 minutes I go around four times. And when I add up all the steps, I counted my steps and then I measured my step length, how far I'm walking each time um, or how far my step is. And when I do the math for that, I've actually walked over a half a mile while I've cooked this for 20 minutes. So I'm gonna continue that, and by the time I'm done cooking this, I will have walked a mile and a quarter just inside my house while I'm cooking something. Um, taking little pauses to come back and take this out and flip it over. So I'm gonna take my apron off again and go back to walking. There's a third beeper, so I've stopped the timer. I'm gonna get out my pads and get my grown-up to help. You can see it's starting to look a little more brown. It's starting to get a little bit, not quite as moist as well. It smells really, really good. Get my mitts on, put it back in. Reset my timer for 10 minutes. And so far, I've walked a little more than three quarters of a mile inside. I'm gonna go finish up my mile, and I'll be back to take it out and show you the end product. All right, that's the end of our 40 minute time frame. So our granola's been cooking for four sets of 10 minutes. Four times 10 is 40 minutes. So let's take a look at it now. if you can see the change in color but now it's more of a golden brown color and it tastes be careful mmm tastes sweet and roasted good enough just to eat like as a good snack by itself you can use it for cereal in the morning you can put it on your um, yogurt um, it's really great snack very simple to do And I'll also tell you that while I was cooking my granola, I went for four 10 minute walks inside my house in my trail that I made in my house that goes upstairs and downstairs into the cellar. So I practiced stairs and I did walking and my total distance during that time is 1.25 miles. So what I did was I measured how long my steps were. For me, that's 22 inches. And then I um, counted the number of steps in my trail inside. And then I calculated that distance based on that, how many feet that would be. And then I could calculate how many miles that is. So for me, in my 40 minute time, I did a mile and a quarter while I was cooking my granola. So anyway, this is a really simple recipe to try at home. It's really yummy. You could put other, you could substitute other ingredients um, but it's really simple for you to do and it's a good treat for you to share. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.